Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna go over the new iOS 8 features, stuff to look forward to on September 17th, 2014. All right, let's jump onto my iPhone 5S and we'll go over almost everything that's new with iOS 8. The new health app in iOS 8 lets you track and monitor your health and fitness all in one single app. You can track things like body fat, calorie intake, fitness activities, and just a whole lot more. You can also let third-party apps link to this health and fitness data, which will take fitness and health apps to a whole new level. You can also create a personal medical ID that has certain info like your allergies for emergency situations. The photos app got some new search features, so now you can search through your photos for certain keywords like where or when the photo was taken. Smart albums are new too. You now have a recently added and recently deleted album. So yeah, you can actually recover a photo if you accidentally delete it. The camera also has new editing controls. You can rotate it with the new rotate dial. You can choose from a decent list of filters and you can adjust the brightness, color, and black and white levels as well. There's a new time-lapse video mode and there are manual controls for exposure now. So that's pretty cool. You can now set manual focus and manual exposure to get the photo just right. Messages in iOS 8. You can share voice, videos, and photos from within any message conversation. And it's kind of like Snapchat in a way. So you just tap and hold the microphone icon and say your voice message and then swipe up to send it or swipe left to cancel. And for photos and videos, you just hold down the camera icon and swipe up to take a photo or swipe right to take a video and it will instantly send it. You can also share your current location through text. If you tap on the details button on the top right, you can view all the attachments sent on that conversation. So all the photos and videos are all in one place instead of having to scroll through all the old messages like in previous versions of iOS. You can now give custom names to group texts and thank goodness you can now leave group text and you can also edit group text. So if you want to remove someone from the convo, you can do that now. And you can also send multiple photos and videos at once. The new design in iOS 8 has interactive notifications. So for example, you can reply to a text right from the notification itself without leaving the current app that you're in. And now when you double press the home button, you have quick access to your favorite and recent contacts at the top. So you can quickly call or text them. The mail app now has similar features to that on the mailbox app. You can swipe left or right on an email for options such as trash or flag or more options. Uh, in Safari, you can request the desktop site of a website. So if you don't wanna see the mobile site, you can choose to see the desktop site. In settings, general usage and battery usage, you can now view which apps on your iPhone are using the most battery life. The weather app now uses the weather channel data instead of Yahoo weather and shows a nine day forecast with a little more details and info about the weather. You can insert photos and notes, which is pretty cool. And the control center got a slight redesign as well iOS 8 now has a predictive text called QuickType. It basically learns the way you type and gives you word suggestions as you type. Uh, so it's supposed to help you type quicker. It's somewhat intelligent in the sense that it knows how to answer certain questions that people ask you. Um, and there are also third party keyboards available now so you can swipe to type or get a custom keyboard. A new feature called Family Sharing lets you share purchases from iTunes, iBooks, and the App Store with up to six family members without sharing Apple accounts. So this is going to be awesome for the families out there who have kids with iPhones and iPods. iCloud got upgraded to iCloud Drive, which you can use to store and access your documents from your iOS device and any computer with iCloud Drive installed. So you can create a document on your iPhone and then continue working on it on your computer iOS 8 has a new feature called continuity and it benefits people who own a Mac. You can now use AirDrop to drag and drop files between your Mac and iOS device. Handoff lets you pick up where you left off. So if you start writing an email on your iPhone, you can go to your Mac and finish it up. And it works with many other different apps as well. What's awesome is you can actually answer or respond to calls and text messages right from your Mac, as long as your iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network. Spotlight got upgraded, similar to the Spotlight upgrades on Mac OS X Yosemite. It not only searches your iPhone, but it can search things like Wikipedia, news, nearby places, movie show times, iTunes, iBooks, the App Store, and suggested websites. And the new Spotlight search also works in Safari. And finally, Siri got some updates in iOS 8. Now when your phone is charging, you can say, hey Siri to activate Siri, sort of like OK Google with Android. It has visual real-time voice recognition and it can identify song names with Shazam music recognition. 
All right, so that covered almost all the new main features of iOS 8. And again, this will be available to the public on September 17th, 2014. I'll leave a link down below to Apple's website where you can see what devices are compatible with iOS 8. If this video helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tech videos in the future. My name is Andy with MyTechMethods.com. Thank you so much for watching. Keep having fun out there and I will talk to you later.